Jasmine Singer from OurHenHouse.com, and I'm here today filming Veggie Conquest. Here's how Veggie Conquest works. Using a secret ingredient revealed a week in advance, chefs prepare a dish and bring it to the event. Judges and tasters at the event choose the top dish, prizes are awarded, and everyone chows down and has a great time. This is my very first time at Veggie Conquest and I'm very excited right now, particularly because I just found out that the secret ingredient is potatoes. All of the awesome, talented chefs are making dishes that are centered around the most perfect food. Hi, I'm Kathy. And you're one of the chefs today? I'm a chef today. Is this your first time competing? Yeah, this is my first ever competition. What is your dish today? It's a chipotle sweet potato soup with a corn and avocado relish. Yum. Yeah. That sounds really delicious. We're, we're in it to win it, man. <laughs> my name is Jessie Mee, and uh, this is my first time cooking for Veggie Conquest. Today I made a curried potato uh, canapé hmm. with uh, tamarind and cilantro chutneys. Did you come up with any particular challenges while making this dish? Uh, you know, just timing it all and making sure I have the right quantity because 80 people is a, is a lot to, to cook for. It's a lot of people. For. Yeah, so I have 80 individual, actually 96 individual servings packed away in these boxes here. Hi, I'm Jessica Gunter. I'm from TMAC, New Jersey, and I'm participating in Veggie Conquest 4. What I've created is a sweet potato and portobello mushroom, kind of like a cigar, mm -hmm. and I created a chili plum dressing to go on top of it. This is my current vegan tattoo, oh so. Oh gosh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jennifer Linsky. Hey Jennifer, what did you make today? Um, I made um, loaded baked potato pierogies. The big challenge I find with these is just keeping them warm and getting something that will travel well. So I just wanted something potatoey that hopefully will heat up well Very cool. and be good. What's your name? Uh, Sherry Cohn. And you're a chef today? Yes, I am. I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I came all the way up here just to compete. I made papas rellenas, um, which is traditionally like a Cuban or Colombian dish, but I've kind of changed it a little bit. I based it off of the existing papas rellenas recipe, which usually uses um, uh, meat and tomatoes inside of potatoes and then deep fried. And so I kind of like altered the ingredients to make it vegan, um, a little healthier without all of the oil, but also just... Uh, of a different take on. Hi, I'm Michelle Barton. I made um, what's called tiny tater nori rolls. Is this your first time competing? Um, no, actually, I competed in the second veggie conference. Oh, okay, a returning customer. Yes. What brought you back? Um, I just enjoy challenging myself and making <laughs> yummy vegan food. My name is Yoli Wea. Genetically, I am like inclined to know about food because I just found out a relative of mine is known as the best cook in all of Africa. I am Alexandra Jameson, holistic health counselor and vegan author, and I am the Paula Abdul of the Veggie Conquest judges tonight. <laughs> a little vegan bling going on. Vegan bling. Yeah, yeah. That's how we know that you're vegan. Yes. If you were wearing your meat eater one, we'd have to ask you to leave. <laughs> My name is Patrick Kwan, I'm with Super Vegan, and I'm one of the judges for Veggie Conquest Potatoes. It's my first time judging for this. Um, you know, I've done a lot of different taste testing or like recipe testing for a lot of different restaurants or like folks who are like making on products, so I'm really excited. This is my third time volunteering for Veggie Conquest. We have different candles each time based on the secret ingredient. So one time when the secret ingredient was squash, we had candles that were pumpkin. And another time when it was apples, we had apple candle holders. And when it was cranberry, we just had photos with cranberries around them, because you can't really stuff a candle in a cranberry very well. I'm making potato candle centerpieces, because the secret ingredient is potatoes this time. What are you doing today to volunteer? Uh, I'm helping set up the tables and chairs, uh, set the table make the candle holders, whatever they ask me to do. Whatever they ask you to do, you do. <laughs> My name is Michael Crowland. I'm here at Veggie Conquest 4, and I made uh, a Swedish-style horoset at Veggie Conquest 3. I really wanted to attend last time, but it was all sold out, and the only way to get in was to be a chef. So I looked for inspiration to my favorite chef, Swedish chef from The Muppet Show, and dressed up as him, and made a Passover dish, Swedish, really not doing anything different to it, and had by far the worst dish there. But I got in for free and got to eat some amazing food, so it was all worth it. 
Hi, my name is Michael Parrish Judell, and I am the senior editor of Ecorazzi.com and the co-founder and editor-in-chief of VegDaily.com. And you're the MC today. And I am the MC today. How'd you land that one? You know, I'm a little bit of rock and roll. And they, just, <laughs> they wanted this event to... No, I am... I heard you're a little bit country. <laughs> I am a little country, that's the truth. Uh, I'm the MC tonight because I judged a, a couple uh, a couple events ago, and uh, I'm filling in for the normal MC, which is Joshua Ketcher. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm doing a little fill-in role tonight. Do you have as many tattoos as Joshua? I do not. I have five tattoos, which is hardly street cred in the vegan world. Uh, <laughs> can I see, it, can I see the, the Ahimsa one? The Ahimsa one, yeah, there it is. Uh, 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 uh. We have matching, we have matching tattoos. What do you think makes a good potato dish? Potatoes? <laughs> I'm actually really, really excited about potato dishes because when I was a kid growing up in a Chinese family, we never really had much potatoes because as you know, you walk into a Chinese restaurant and ask for potatoes, they would go like, what are you talking about? I heart potatoes, like seriously. Um, I think potatoes are so incredibly versatile. You can, you know, you have sweet potatoes, you have regular potatoes, you can season them and spice them any way, which way from Friday. Well, salt, I would say, right? Potatoes and salt go well together. So. I was trying to figure out like a... If there's any way a potato that I don't like, and I can't really think of one. I like it when it has its skin and it's crunchy. I think what makes a perfect potato dish is a combination of creaminess, or maybe I shouldn't say creaminess, this is a vegan event, but, but shall we say a rich, fatty mouthfeel, along with the solidity of the tuber. Potatoes are where it's at. As people were starting to come in, I got a chance to sit down and talk to Chef O'Brien from Match Meat, the main sponsor of Veggie Conquest 4. My name is David O'Brien. I'm the culinary liaison, which basically means I'm the representative of Match Meats on the East Coast in New York City. Well, the last dish I cooked was at a party I went to with my wife. And I served crab match. And I served that with a mango salsa and roasted potatoes, and they loved it. Later in the evening, Chef O'Brien surprised everybody with a very special Match Meats giveaway. Chef has a quite a big announcement for you. What do you have to tell everyone a big surprise for tonight? Everyone's going to get their own. <laughs> As if that weren't enough, Mark from Raw Ice Cream Company told everybody they were going to get a free sampling of the most delicious raw ice cream you've ever tasted. Anything that is raw that has all the finer nutrients and antioxidants. Uh, the original plants had, and um, I don't know, mine is awesome. So. As Mike the MC started his thing and the judges were setting up, I sat down to talk to Jessica Mahady, creator of Veggie Conquest. Jessica, you are the brains behind the Veggie Conquest, aren't you? Yes, I am. <laughs> and however did you come up with the idea for Veggie Conquest? Well, it started as an idea I had for a potluck, and it quickly evolved into this competition. Uh, we It was just going to be something small in my apartment, and started talking to friends about it and soon we realized that it would be awesome to make it bigger and open to the public and so um, getting some friends involved it just grew into, into what it is now. And why a potato? Um, I decided to potato. It's really tricky picking the secret ingredient because I don't want to pick an ingredient that people that a lot of people are allergic to because then it'll right. then people won't be able to come. So uh, I pick something that's versatile, and and I think potatoes are are you know there's not a lot in season right now, so everything's starting to come in season, and potatoes are always around, and I think they're really versatile and tasty, and yeah, I thought, I thought it'd be interesting to see what people came up with. There's going to be a highest score prize, there's going to be a taste of choice prize. We're going to get to all of that when it's time. Um, but right now, I want to introduce chef number one. Chef number one is Michelle Barton. Who's Michelle Barton? Come on. A brief introduction about Michelle. Michelle believes it's all about the sauce. Her meals are inspired by whatever's in her fridge and is closest to expiring. It must be eaten now before it's too late. I think everyone can relate to that, that kind of, uh, that kind of it's cooking. Creativity. It's creativity, exactly. Alex, what do you think? This is like an American picnic wrapped up in a Japanese blanket. Uh, <laughs> stop running, I'll say for it. Jen has made for us a loaded baked potato pierogi, and I think I snuck one before. Super delicious. Um, Jen has been vegan for two and a half years and has a blog called Vegan Dance If You Want To. I really like the, the, the layered flavors in the pierogi because I did a hint of the day and I did a hint of the potato and then I hit the 
shallots, and then the sour cream, and it all kind of melts together. So it's just how I like my baked potato. Like you get to dig in the potato without actually having to create a mess. So I really appreciate it. Our third chef tonight is Sherry Cohen. Sherry, where are you? What is the name of this dish? Stuffed potato balls. That's that's dish number three. Stuffed potato balls. And how did you prepare the the potatoes? Did you the potatoes were boiled and then they were mashed with tofu to kind of keep it together and a little bit of salt. Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of different flavors going on. Like I'm looking at the title and then I'm getting a totally different flavor. I changed the recipe at the last minute okay. and I couldn't change the title. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, now it all makes sense. There's lots of different things going on here. I like so a little bit about Jessie. Jessie loves to make doses for Indian savory crepes, also as much as she likes to eat them. And since she lives, lives in Murray, or Curry Hill, she can very easily doses every day. Her dish is inspired by her love for Indian cuisine. Um, I appreciate how, like you said, it's very fresh and it's light and it's not overwhelming. And I err on the side of gluten-free, so I appreciate oh, great. the consideration in that one. I really like the chutney. I'm really big on sauces that don't have a lot of added sugar to yeah. it. And I even in my desserts, like the raw desserts, I always use like a raisin and mm -hmm. date puree. And I really appreciate that. For the cilantro, it is really fresh. I probably would add like a little, for me, I like a, lot, a little bit of sea salt because I'm like always mm -hmm. looking and it'll yeah. actually enhance mm -hmm. the cilantro that much more, especially like the fresh sea salt. Yeah, yeah. Um, but other than that, I really like the whole composition and the way it looks. So thank you. Great. But as a vegan, she finds herself taking a bit more pride in making not only tasty dishes, but ones that really make people think twice about the vegan experience. I love that. Awesome. Jessica, come talk to me for a second. What inspired you to make this tonight? I love make I love mixing sweet and savory. So the sweet potato, the sweetness of the sweet potato, and then adding kind of spices to that, and then the chili plum dressing. Like I really like sweet and savory. I love the portobello in it. And I think when um, when we first saw the menu that we were chatting about, it's like, hmm, with the sweet potato really, you know, and the plum seems very sweet and overwhelming, but it's not. Our sixth and final contestant, Kathy Cho. You cook regularly on your own? I mean, I cook for myself. Okay, so you don't like, you're not regularly inviting people over for dinners. This is kind of your first. No, well, we do, I have a monthly dinner group. Okay, so there we go. For which there is also a secret ingredient. Nice. Uh, so what I did was I made a sweet potato soup from the chipotle base to give the smoky flavor a little bit of complexity. Um, I think it'll be very enjoyable. There is a corn avocado relish on top to give you a little break from the meat. But not too much of a break because there's two chilies in there too. So I feel like I could eat this soup in summer or in fall. It's great for either hot or cool weather, which is pretty great. It really reminds me of like a apple butternut squash. After the competition was over, there was a second course for all of the tasters. This course was made with match meats and other ingredients, all delicious and all made by these wonderful volunteers. I got to sit down and talk with two of the volunteers, Robin Lazara and Kathy Ressler, about the delicious meals that they made for the second course. I'm Robin Lazara. I made the second course, and I also coordinated the volunteers and worked registration. What did you make as the second course? Cheeseburger macaroni casserole. I'm using what? Daya, 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 and, Daya, and tomato, matched tomato. ground beef. Hi, my name is Kathy Ressler. And didn't you help make the second course? Yeah, I made um, spiced apples. One version was gluten free, one had oats. The other one, I made um, uh, the matched chicken pot pie. How does one make food for 80 people? Well, I'm Italian, so it comes naturally. <laughs> I always overcook, so. Finally, the winners were about to be announced. The prizes for the lucky and talented winners were donated by Cosmo's Vegan Shop, Lula's Sweet Apothecary, Alicia Kochmar, and Alexandra Jameson. This honorable mention prize goes to Sherry Cohen. Oh. This honorable mention prize we have, this goes to Jen Lin Leninsky. This goes to Jesse Mee. Third place.
place winner is Kathy Cho. <laughs> All in all, Veggie Conquest was a huge success with scrumptious food and absolutely fabulous people. You know, it's truly amazing what kind of magic can happen when you put several dozen vegans and vegan curious folks in a room together. What you are left with is nothing short of delicious. This is Jasmine Singer from Our Hen House and I'm signing off. I hope to see you at Veggie Conquest 5. Because the appetizer dish is a potato one, which is in fact my middle name, so you can imagine how gleeful I am right now. Okay, let's try it again, hold on. Do you have any favorite blogs besides the ones you write for? I know that takes out about 30 of them, but... Well, of course, OurHenHouse.com, I oh. love, with the wonderful jazz and singer. Hey Ariella, Hi. can you talk to me? No. <laughs> There's a bit of drama here at Veggie Conquest. We're having an issue lighting the creepy gel candles. The death gel we don't candles. Burn our hands. Wait, 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 look. That? We don't want to burn our hands. What about you, Molly? Why can't you light the creepy gel candle? Look. <laughs> because I think that says vegan. No, that is not what that says. <laughs> so you've been so potato I... deprived your whole life. At my, you know, my younger life, mm -hmm. so... Love birds, Alex Jameson, and, and oh, Michael Parrish Trudell. The rumors are gonna start. The rumors, <laughs> gonna start. The rumors start here. I'm, I'm the, the National Enquirer is outside right oh, yeah. now. The Vegan National Enquirer. The Vegan Enquirer. Yeah, the it's, vegan it's all made of soy-based ink. <laughs> yeah.